Hey guys, this is Slim Dragon Team right here. I'm here today with uh, Connor. Hi. And we are part seven. Uh, Carla pulled the Morgan. Yep, she gets her stick. But she'll probably come back. She always comes back. <laughs> she'll come back. She always does. Uh, that's actually. Hopefully, Morgan will be back. Don't think so. Do you know what that saying reminds me of? Oh. Five Nights at Freddy's free trailer. Exactly. She she will come back. She always she does. She always does. We have a place for her. Five Nights at Freddy's three. Five Nights at Carla's coming soon. Damn it. We probably make it like Five Nights at Liam's. That would probably be the worst game of all time. Only like one person would buy it, and that would be, and that person would be me. <laughs> exactly. Because I'll like, probably be the only one that would care about that game. Then I'd probably threaten the rest of my family. If they didn't buy it, would kill them. <laughs> you kill my family, my friends. They don't mind the game. Oh, they'll be sorry. I finally used the wheat farm. After a million years, I finally used the wheat farm. Yay! Yeah. No. We need to put some more enthusiasm in your videos. This is how so, so you use. This is how you make crap videos, people. <laughs> this is how you make crap videos. Just watch my videos. Ha ha, Billy, you're always so bad at telling jokes. We think you did. Some people see me as the SpongeBob of our generation. Probably because I can do this laugh. <laughs> That will not drift us anywhere. It won't. Honestly, cobblestone fights the wind, which makes us go faster. Remember, we need like a little steering bit. Yeah, that's gonna be in a lot of room. This is this reminds me of the Legends of the Wind Waker when you're just trying to get that one sale that you had to look online to try and find a tutorial on how to find it. <laughs> AKA that was something that I did. Cause, Cause I'm one of those person that, cause I'm one of those people that just skips dialogue that is really important. Cause, it, cause, cause I don't have any patience to get into the story. <laughs> exactly, you're just like, no, 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 screw this. To be honest, that's probably what everybody does. And nope. then go, oh, was an I mean, like when I was when I was like five. Do you know how to get past this bit? And you like, 
Did you watch the story like when I accidentally pressed skip also known as I didn't have the patience for it so I pressed Yep. Yeah. That just yeah, that's probably what everybody did back then. That just sums up that just sums up games. Can't be bothered, just let me skip. And when I was like four, I would play Partners in Time, but Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. But what I would do is oh. like, I wouldn't know what I was doing. So what I would do is I would just skip the story. Yeah, you just like, I don't just come down you. And then like, when I got to this certain bit, I had no idea what I was doing. And then like, you just, your little voice in your head, you went, you should have watched the. You should have watched the tour, like dumbass. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. What I'm <laughs> and then, and then, um, thing that in games you'd always, uh, like you he you didn't watch the story, like you'd you'd always just sit on that bit. That's why I always I've had like a million Pokemon files of just me not watching the story, like understanding what to do. And I'm just like, why didn't I watch the tutorial? What should we do that? I, I actually yeah, did that in the original Paper Mario. I mean, like, there was this thing about, oh, like... Paper Mario, the story, like, please no. Super, pa Super Paper Mario, and, like, that, that was a great... Please no, that game just my head. <laughs> that was a great game, but I didn't have the patience to get into the story. Or have any patience to learn the tutorials. Because I was... Because uh, I was playing with... I was playing a, a, cause like the bit where you had to find a secret door. I had no idea what I was doing, cause I didn't have any patience to listen to Tippy. Cause I'm just a straight up G. Yeah, that's what I mean. At least I think she was called oh. Tippy. I think she was called Tippy, the little butterfly. No, not the. Yeah, it yeah, was a butterfly. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was called Tippy. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was Tippy. Oh, the, the little butterfly thing I think was Tippy. Yeah, I think that's Tippy. <laughs> and then, like, everybody tippy who put. So if you ever did that in a Legend of Zelda game, like, skip the storyline, you would be screwed. Exactly. He's like, I did the exact same thing in Majora's Mask. I waited till the last day. I was sent the countdown until I was about to die. Had no idea what I was doing. And then I died. So then you restarted it, looked up on YouTube and finished it and the rest of the day. I did that with Pokemon Y. I started it, like, looking pure confident, like, just a straight up knob head. And then uh, it turns out I had no clue what I was doing. So I went. I'm doing McDonald's. I went and I deleted my file. Again, which I have no idea how to do. And <laughs> um, yeah, I just. What was the tutorial? We finished it in like a month. To be honest. Because, uh, all I do. Do you know why I get sad at Pokemon games? Because once you complete it, then... It's like, I'm never going to experience this game. It's just... It's a tragedy. I mean, like, you you, you wish there was more. To you your... You want the game to go on forever, and that's just it. Nothing well, else to it. I want the game to go on forever. And then you do it, and it just doesn't. And you're, you're, you're sad. Mm. And you're like... Yeah, and then you're like, Mom, see if there's a next Pokemon game. Can I get it? But, that's what it was like when you were young, when you were like, Mom, can I get this Pokemon game? But, you see one day when Pokemon ends, they'll never, and they never make a game, it will just be so sad. I know, like, if, when Game Freak decided, when Game Freak finally let down their fans or something. Exactly. <sighs> I'm getting this Pokemon when it, when it ends. In five million years, it's still going. Oh my god. The thing is, I just, I just want Pokemon to go forever. I know, I think... Yeah, I mean, like, you just gotta make the most of your games while they last, because 
I think we all know Mario's not gonna last forever. <clears throat> like, if Mario lasted forever, then just that would be cool, but you can't just have the same platforming minigame meet plumber protagonist every time. Exactly. All you need to do, like, Mario's simple. Save, save the princess! Save. Down with that is also simple. Save the princess. Again, just all the Mario and Nintendo games are just like, save a princess, stop an evil team who plan to steal Pokemon and stuff. Like, I do appreciate every Pokemon game people have made and games, but some of them are just a waste of time. Yeah. Uh, well, this is probably one of the serious videos we've ever made in our life. <laughs> exactly. Don't stop Pokemon Nintendo or we will murder you. I mean, we'll come take you down. I think all we need now for the boat is the engine. Yep, and that is gonna take a while. Let, let me just think. In fact, no, it's not. We need to go down here. Right, we just place the blocks anywhere down there. Mm, yeah. Right, so it was one iron block. Right. One so second, one second, one second. Excuse me, I'll move it away, please. I have, right, no, come up, come I have here. ladders, I have ladders. Come here, right, come here. Come right beside yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, and then. Oh, Liam, move, please. Back beside the rest of the box. Okay, and then, uh, Should I just dug up from there, okay? Uh, I have ladders, ladders, I have ladders. Can you keep moving. Place ladders. I can't. I can't. <clears throat> I actually can't. Give me them. Neither can I actually try and go back as far as you can. Wait, you go back, go back, corner, corner, go back, back. This is hard. Wait, this is confusing me. and we know that's going to take like a million years. I'm proud of our ship. Yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of my work. We're becoming stampy long nose. What? We're becoming stampy long nose building these swag ships. I got Bambi's mom. Oh yeah, you got uh, Zernius. I got you, Belto. You got the badass flying bird. I got Bambi's mom. Exactly. Oh wait, what's that? Is that, is that see people saying that maybe Bambi's mom is better than the giant flying badass bird? No, I didn't say oh, that. Yeah. But for some reason in the Pokemon Diancy movie we have it the badass Jerry Bird is the bad guy. For some unexplained exactly, reason. Exactly, when he's clearly not. Well, like, badass bird guy is babe. You, ne you never know. Maybe Bambi's mum is the bad person. Do, 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 do. Mm, maybe Bambi was the one that killed. Maybe, maybe it was Bambi's mum who killed Bambi's mum. That maybe. makes Bambi's mum evil because she's Bambi's mum. Oh who my. She killed Bambi's mum. What the fudge? Right, I think on that note, Clara, do you, want, that? do you want to sing us out? Uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching this episode 
of Survival Island. I've been Connor, and this has been Liam. We will see you all in the next episode. Bye! Goodbye!